When you get together with your team, you don't want any obstacles in the way of your flow. With Surface Hub 2S, you don't need to deal with cables. You can connect and share your content wirelessly via Miracast using any Miracast-enabled device. To share your screen in Windows 10, press the Windows key and K at the same time. This will open the Connect panel and display all the devices you can connect to. If projecting from a non-Windows Miracast-enabled device, just look for screen sharing or screen mirroring in settings. Take note of your Surface Hub's friendly name in the bottom left corner of the screen. Once you find the Surface Hub in the list, tap it to connect. It'll just take a few moments for your screen to appear. Some organizations may require a pin to connect, and if so, the pin will appear on the screen. Make sure the box is checked allowing mouse, keyboard, touch, and pen input from the Surface Hub. Now you can leave your device at your seat and still interact with using pen and touch on the Surface Hub. Now that you're projecting, you're already in full screen mode. To exit full screen, simply swipe down from the top or up from the bottom. While you're projecting, your device will treat the Surface Hub as a secondary display. This means you can either duplicate or extend your desktop. This is useful if you'd like to share content as you take notes. While projecting content, you can still use the other features of your Surface Hub. For example, you can press Start and then open Microsoft Edge to browse the web. This automatically snaps the screen so we can see both apps at once. To adjust the size, slide the bar in the middle or move it all the way off the display so the app fills the screen. Returning to your projected screen is easy. Press the Task View button at the bottom of the hub and then tap Connect. While you're projecting, Windows 10 will show you this banner at the top of your screen. If you'd like to hide the projection banner, press the pin icon. You can make it reappear by moving your mouse to the center top of the screen. When you're ready, press the disconnect button to stop presenting. If your Surface Hub is set up for it, you can also connect to your device using display cables. You can connect two different cables to your device, one for the display and one for the inking and touch features of your Surface Hub. If you've connected a Windows device, you'll be able to interact with your PC using ink and touch on the Surface Hub after just a few moments. And that's all there is to it. You've successfully shared your screen using Surface Hub 2S.